Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dia, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I'm playing more Elden Ring. I, from the last video that I made, I actually haven't really done anything. I went straight from the Dark Chamber entrance. I went back down, or from the Mesmer's Dark Chamber, excuse me. I went back down to the West Rampart. I ran across the bridge, uh, killed the Sorcerer, and I'm here at the Viaduct Miner Tower, and holy shit. I'm not joking, I saw this location, and I was like, okay. I was gonna play just on my own for a bit and then record something, but this location needs to be recorded 100%. I don't know how far I am into the DLC. I only play pretty much when I'm recording in case I miss something, but I mean, holy shit. This place looks unbelievable. It looks so unbelievably nice. I still have to get down to those two locations. Um, one of those being where I can collect the map for this area and the other one being the actual like town type of thing itself. So I can get the two-handed talisman so we can upgrade our build a little bit here. So, cause we can get more damage with two-handed weapons. I currently have the green total talisman, the dragon crest great shield talisman, earth tree's favorite plus two, and a star scourge heirloom. Probably gonna switch off the heirloom at some point. Uh, at least I'll be definitely switching off of it when I get the new talisman. We also have all of Malekith's gear and the black knight helm. If you guys notice, we have actually changed a lot of what I'm wearing. And to be honest, it just goes with the armor. I just went for the drip. That's literally it. The I still think the Tree Sentinel armor would be better for how I'm trying to play, but nevertheless, I still think that with us being such a high level and the enemy is hitting so hard, I don't think the damage bonus and the armor rating that I would have would make much of a difference. So I'm kind of just going for aesthetic. Like I said, it goes with our preferred weapon here, Malekith's Black Blade at plus 10. If you guys want to see any other playthroughs or any other things on the game, make sure to let me know. There are so many weapons in the game. I'm more than happy to just kind of figure out what's the quickest way to get a hold of them. Let's venture on. I have no idea what would be up here. This looks very nature-based, so I'm really hoping that I don't run into too much wildlife. Because the wildlife is definitely where I'm struggling in terms of being like, they're, they're just so, they seem so unpredictable. Oh. There are pots down there. I presume that's the only way for me to get down to... The next area. I don't even know. I guess I'm gonna have to make my way over there to where the the, the black is. Ambush ahead. Therefore, try tree. Oh, that motherfucker up there. I don't really like fighting those guys at all. They're all a pain in the fucking ass. Hidden path ahead. Are you sure about that? Oh my god, yes. Bondstone and Antiquity Scholar's Cookbook Two causes a spiritual explosion, consuming a sprite dwelling within sprite stone. That fall kills me, doesn't it? First off, down, then seek ahead. I feel like I'm being lied to. Oh my god, no, I wasn't being lied to. Okay, yeah, this is... This is the next area, because I, I that guy looks friendly, so, like, he's staying up there with armor, he's not facing me, he looks, doesn't look like he's ready to fucking kill me at a moment's notice. Oh! No, okay, you are not friendly. Oh, he's pissed. Oh my god. Okay, so he's just another Crucible Knight that I'm horrible at dodging the timings of. Sick, I'm so fucking good. Oh yeah, there it is. Nice. Damn, this guy has shit tons of health. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. I got... I got stuck. I was not expecting him to transform like that. What the fuck? The, the Crucible Knights are harder than most regular knights in the fucking game. Most regular enemies in the game. What the fuck? What type of fucking ability is that? That's the ability you chose to stole? Or steal, I should say? I can't believe that fucking follow through killed me. Wow. Why am I so bad at this fucking game? I've been on him for over 10 minutes. He's just one fucking knight.
Devonia's hammer and the Crucible Hammer Helm. That took way longer than it needed to. Helm worn by Devonia, longest serving of the Crucible Knights, holds the power over the Crucible of Life, the primordial form of the Erd Tree, strengthens aspect of the Crucible incantations. It is said Devonia quested in search of the Crucible's origin and departed from the lands of the Erd Tree alone. Then her weapon is Devonia's hammer. Great hammer wielded by Devonia. Weapon forged of primordial gold marked by its reddish hue and inhabited by ancient holiness, a torrent of life is engraved upon the striking face. That ba that fucking that shit took me longer than I like to admit. Ancient cross runes cross message and a shot and one shatter tree fragment by Dryleaf Dane. We found the ceiling tree just ahead. But if we are to burn it, we need the proper kindling, that of Sir Mesmer. So this is when they're suggesting you go back and kill Mesmer, which I've already done, so I just keep going forward. Dane passed on a message. The seeing tree is in the ancient ruins of Raw. It lies beyond the high bridge leading from the first floor of the storehouse. I will join you there once I have finished the task at hand. Leading from the first floor of the storehouse. So, do I need to go back here? Also, I mean, holy, look at this fucking place. Oh, he's awake. Nice. Oh, that doesn't look fun. How do you dodge that? You don't. There is no dodge. Oh, you can, he gets active now. Look at him. There he is. Okay, do I have to, like... Grab my runes and get off the bridge, I guess? Yep, that's a fat yes. He's igniting. Run. My frames. Oh god, my frames. What are my graphics set to? He's not gonna shoot me from here, is he? I hope not. Yes, he is. Ah. Okay, so to change my... Ew. Why does the game all of a sudden look so ugly? Alright, well, fuck it. Looks like I'm gonna try and go that way. I'm gonna try and go through him anyways. Fuck him. Oh, he's shooting that at something or someone else. Okay, so this is my, this is my chance. Go, go, go. Hello, giant volcano man. Please don't shoot me with that. I'm safe under here, right? Barely, but I am not. I am not. I am not safe. Oh, Grace. Is that where you start? Oh my god, that's where you start the fucking game. All the way over there. You could. He's that fucking big. Holy shit. Look, there's another one over there. You could see. They, these guys are that bright and that big. That is crazy to me. So I presume I have to go in. Oh, that's the divine. That's where you fight the divine beast. Divine beast dancing lion. I'm actually almost perfectly facing the Grace. Gorgeous view is correct. My god. Talisman ahead. Therefore, time for a jump. There's a talisman down there? Is it even... What if it's not even worth it? Eh, fuck it. Whatever. I... Ow. There you go, Torn. There you go, buddy. Is that the talisman right there? Visions of something incredible? By the way, no enemy ahead. Talisman of all crucibles. Grants effects of all crucible talismans. Reduces the damage taken from crits and headshots and improves the effectiveness of rolling and backstepping, but also increases damage taken at all times. Rumors have sprouted upon giants and is known as the mother of crucibles in ancient tower lore. So if I was to go back to my crucible knight build, that would be a talisman I'd have to rock. I actually really would love to try that, like go through the whole game as a crucible knight. Ooh, that'd be... That'd be sick. You just start the game with the attributes you needed and you just go from there. That'd be fucking sick. I might- I might do that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Not the giant archer. Run! Boom! Boom! Oh! Cool! Okay, there's a um, stake of America, I believe, and a summon- th which, There's gotta be something over here, right? If I'm getting these, it's gotta be something. Shadow Realm Rune 7. Oh no! Oh, I mistimed that really badly. Get me out of this grassy area, man. Get me... Get me over here, get me over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You want this fucking rematch, son? You pissed? I didn't learn anything from the first time, apparently, because I tried to jump attack him again. Oh! That's death! What the fuck? Nah! That ain't fair, man. And they don't even die in one hit. This is bullshit. I'm so fucked. 
Run, 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 run. Okay, I gotta fight this smart here. This is bullshit. Dude. He summons basilisks in his fur in his phase transition, so instead of wind he has death. Okay! Fine! Game on, bitch! Okay, I'll I ooh. You know what? No, no, hold on, I'm gonna restart the game. Because this this frame tearing is pissing me off. Alright, this there's no way. I'm not letting that damn I'm not taking another four and a half hours. He has death, and I was trying to kill his fucking minions. You know what? I killed his pussy ass once before. Hold on. I am allowed to do this. Where is he? Let's go, brother. Me and fucking you. I'm about to dab up my homie on this shit. Uh, my frames. I can't. My frames. My fucking frames, man. Synced. Okay, I have now reset my settings and fucking done away with trying to do anything. I just, it's on. I don't know why it's running so smooth now. Like, this genuinely looks fucking smooth. My buddy and I are gonna fucking kill this bitch. Ow. I wasn't paying full- uh, my runes! You got this. He's not in his death phase yet, so I can still get my runes. My compass is off! No, my compass. Okay. Oh yeah, he came to me. Nah, he was good, man. Oh god, it's his fucking death phase. Here we go. Nice! Oh my god, don't- don't build up. Don't build up, don't build up on me. Mimic, don't stand in it, please. Fine. I'm trying to kill the basilisk so it doesn't kill my kill my brother. Dude, this this basilisk is a fucking boss fight in himself. Okay, there we go. Yeah, instant- okay, you bitch. Oh, that hit me? Ah, shit. Get him, my brother! I'm tired of his shit! Oh, fuck. Fuck you! Divine Beast Tornado. Summons a storm that launches a tornado for you. 28 faith or faith build. Now a lot of you are gonna be sitting there going, What happened to you not using summons? What happened to you not doing anything? First of all, I've already fucking killed this thing. I don't wanna hear it. Second of all, I'm not gonna fucking fight something that has a death fucking the death blade in it. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I don't care. If you want to fucking get angry about it, fine. Also, I'd like to all point out an ad. That attempt was by far the best out of literally any of them, and my frames are fixed. The game is smooth as shit. Now, would I have beat that without my my brother? No, probably not. Am I okay with admitting that? Yeah, because I don't fight things with death. I go out of my way to, excuse me, literally not fight them. Yeah, I mean, I think I've explored- I think the whole, like, purpose of continuing that was to fight that other divine beast. That other lion, and he's gone, so I'm gonna- I am gonna follow the main- um, thing, and go back to the storehouse on the first floor. Oh, what is it? Talisman ahead? Hello? Oh. Bold Drake Talisman plus three. Oh, shit. It's like telling me where to fucking go. It wants us to go this way, because I don't know what the hell is going on, and I haven't played in such a while that I'm so fucking lost. So, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a thumbs up on the video. And yeah, until next time, see you guys signing up. I'll see you in the next video. Peace, guys.